In my previous video, I showed you the Super Neato Super Snazzy Mega Drive miniatures. So these are actually 1 6th scale. Uh, I wasn't sure what the scale is, but I looked it up. 1 6th scale. So we have the Mega Drive 1 and the Mega Drive 2. And it comes with these little neat little miniature Mega Drive cartridges. They plug in. So this is Sonic. This is Golden Axe. And then um, Puyo Puyo. And unfortunately it had like just another Sonic. It would have been nice if they had Sonic 2 or something instead, but oh well. Well, not being satisfied with just having those two, I looked up on Yaj, as I call it, Yahoo Auctions Japan, and I was very, very happy to find some more neat crap. So, let's take a look here. This is the CD unit for the Mega Drive 1. Now, I, I've, I've never had this. I mean, I had a, uh, well, in America it was the Genesis, uh, the first generation Genesis. And the, and the thing is, it's kind of sad, is that the, the sound chip is much more superior than the scaled down Mega Drive 2. Um, this one, it's, it's a little farty. Uh, if, if you listen to the sound comparisons, this one is has much better sound, but um, this one was just, I don't know, it, it's nicer to have. So, you know, if you're, uh, if you're an audiophile, then you'll have to make do with the, the Genesis one or the Mega Drive one. Now, this, oh my gosh, this is so cool check this out this CD is just like a little plastic here and this is already cool this is shining force CD that is so cool I have shining force CD I have not built it yet or I've not, not built it <laughs> I've not played it yet but um, yeah let's uh, let's put this on here and it comes with, check this out, it comes with the 32X, dude. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh my cow. Alright, so. Has this little foil sticker here. Let's put this onto this CD. Oh my gosh. How cool is this? I mean, really, right? What the heck? This is so freaking cool. It just makes me want to scream. Alright. Uh, Alright, I guess I got that lined up. Nope. Dang it. That's hard. Um, you know what? Maybe it's good enough. Alright, so check this out. <laughs> Ready access, mega CD, dun dun dun. This opens up and you can put the CD in there. That is so cool. Hmm. And, oh my gosh. Wait. This is for the Mega CD here. It says right here, Mega CD. So this goes on the bottom. Cool. So yeah, this is like that. That uh, looks like a DVD player, kind of a CD player thing. It's, uh, it's a big deal here. And then, oh, get out! I never even noticed that before, dude. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Shoot, this is so freaking cool. Oh, that is great. That is great. All right, and so for the uh, for the the thirty two X. Hmm, where does this go? Super thirty two X. Where does it does it say so in the instructions? Where where does that sticker go? I don't know, man. Um. Hmm. 
Um. Oh. Shoot. You know, I, I've never I've never owned a 32x, so I'm not even really sure where that sticker goes. Um, Super 32x. No, this is the the cartridge. Oh yeah, that's right. I think it was called the Super 32x in Japan instead of just the 32x. Go figure. I think it's just super. And on the back, I got the sticker to put down. Um, yeah, my friend had, uh, or my my friend, my cousin, who was my friend, I guess, but my cousin had um, Star Wars Arcade, and that was pretty nice. That was that was really cool. It was like probably the best thing to own on the 32x, and so. I, I I'm I'm sorry, but I don't know where this this uh, this sticker goes. Actually, does it go here on that thing? Underneath there. Ah. Uh, hmm. I would say so. Serial number. Yeah. Yeah, I would say that probably is what goes on there. Because it's not like it's gonna fit on the back or anything. Let's just uh, put this into place here. So, but yeah, I, I would say this uh, Space Harrier is uh, a good one to get. Um, of course, you can get it on the the Saturn for the 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 Sega collection on the Saturn. But yeah, so if you want to really stock up here, take this out. Just phew, cushion. <laughs> Dude, this is so cool. All right. Um. Yeah, let's 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 take care of. Oh my gosh. All right. So this is the Sega unit for the. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It just opens up. Man, this is so freaking cool. So yeah, I have this. I, I have the the CD unit for the the Mega Drive 2. And actually, I got it for the Genesis 2. I, I have both a Genesis 2 and a Mega Drive 2. I don't really have a whole lot of Genesis games. Um, but I have a, a Sega CD... And in Japan, it's called the Mega CD. Now, for the Sega CD, I think I only have like Lunar 1 and 2. And that's it. And uh, for the the Mega CD, though, I've got a bunch of games. Like, I do have that Shining Force game, for example. And this needs to peel off easily. Okay, so what am I looking at here? Alright, now this is... This game is... Yume... Mi... Kano Monogatari, and I actually I owned this game once upon a time, because like when I first got my uh, my Mega CD, I got on Yaj and I was just like buying like, uh, um, no, thank you, no, thank you. I did not want you to do this to me. You know what? I think it's actually okay. Um, shoot, what is this called? Mansion of Hidden Souls. Yeah, I had to look it up. Apparently this was released in English. Cool. Hold on. I hear a delivery van outside. So, as I was saying, uh, I never really got... I never really played the game. Um didn't strike me as being a game I would be really ever interested in. It was kind of like those, I don't know, like, maybe I'm wrong, but it seemed like it was kind of like a seventh guest or something type of a game. I don't know. Alright, so, this goes on the bottom. Hmm. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I, suppose, I think it should go like this. Cool. Okay. Oh, actually, no. Maybe it's not supposed to go like that. Maybe I got the... This, the thing upside down. <laughs> not like anybody should really care, but I guess I do, because I'm a spaz. I'm a spurg, man. Let's peel this up. And there we go. Let's set this right. Okay. All right, cool. All right, so. Uh, this interlocks into here, Gashin. And, you know, what's going on here? Oh, I know what this is. This is for, like, if you if you want to have the, the Genesis 1 stuck on here. Man, they really thought this out. Holy crap, did they think this out. This is so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is why the rapture hasn't happened yet. It's because God wants to... He was, he was waiting for this to be released because like the Mega Drive is so cool. So check this out. That is what this is for. <laughs> as, 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 I, as I eject the, <laughs> the Sega CD or the 32X into, into outer space there. All right, so that, that plugs in like that. Oh crap, this is so freaking cool. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, all right, all right. Now, the, uh, the cartridge here. Get all the way out. This is Sonic 3. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, my cow. So you got this thing here. Uh. Now... Sonic 3 is the the one with uh, Sonic and uh, and Knuckles, right? Oh my cow! Look at this! Oh my cow! Yeah. So my uh, my my cousin had this. He was a total. Uh, Mega Drive, uh, uh, Sega fan guy, and I never owned Sonic and Knuckles, but let's, uh, let's try this out here. Alright, so this is the game for Sonic and Knuckles. And uh, I'm such a spaz, I really am. Okay, I'm gonna have to change the battery on this camera. Okay. Now. This is gonna go in the back. I have Sonic here. <laughs> so yeah, I never I, I, I for the Mega Drive I have Sonic and Sonic 2. Um don't have Sonic 3, Sonic and Knuckles. But uh my cousin had it, so he he showed me what it was like, and this is like Shoot, I was in college and he was in high school, and uh, I, we would like maybe once a month because I, I lived in Glendale, Arizona. He lived in Mesa. We would uh, we would get together and do like a just a game of just gaming, a day of gaming, I should say. And um, 
like I had played Shadowrun on the Super Nintendo and he had Shadowrun for the Genesis and they're like completely different games and so yeah we would go around and go shopping for games and crap together All right, so Sonic and Knuckles here. Here we go. You open this up. This plugs in. Freaking cool, gosh, I swear. <laughs> Very cool, man. Um, so the Super Famicom had like, a, it was called, um, oh, what was it called? It was, um, was that Sufami Turbo, was it? It was a Bandai accessory. And you could, like, plug the games into each other somehow. Um, and you could play, like, different characters from one game and another game. And it seemed like, oh my gosh, maybe I can do, like, you know, Gundam versus Sailor Moon. But no, it really wasn't that... It really wasn't that cool. But I think some of the Gundam games could uh, plug into each other and such. Um, anyhow, so let's let's take out Puyo Puyo. Oh, jeez. This is so badass. I mean, like... How cool is that? Right? Oh, derp. Nerp, nerp. Gotta unplug that. Jeez, this is so cool. Well, you know what? This is making me want to go play my Mega Drive. <laughs> At least my Mega Drive Mini. Although, you know what? I feel like playing Rolling Thunder, too. Because I probably play that more than anything. Uh, more than, like, Musha, Lista, or whatever. Um, damn, this is so cool, man. You know what? I'm going to take this out here. I'm going to stick this on here. And then I'm going to put uh, Space Harrier, the 32X game and to the 32X, because that makes more sense. And then I'm going to plug this into here. And... You know, video games are pretty darn cool, I think, but I don't really play as much as I used to. But here you go! Got the the Shining Force. I have, actually, the only Shining Force I, I've played... Oh, shoot. Is... He says as he drops everything like a spaz. Um, I I played Shining Force on the Game Boy Advance, and I have them. I have them for the for the Mega Drive one and two. I've got them pretty easily, and just never uh, got around to playing the actual Mega Drive version. I just played the. The Game Boy version. Anyhow, I would like to have this posed with the tray open here. That would be cool if everything could just not piss me off. For oh come on. <laughs> so for once in my life, let me get what I want. Lord knows it would be the first time. Oh, you know what I could use is, um, I could use this to pop this open. Merp. Dude. Here you go. So, yeah, now, <laughs> the goal is to not lose this crap, but they really thought of everything. Even a way of fitting the Mega Drive 2 onto the... The, the the Mega CD two, right? That's like I'm sorry, the Mega Drive one on onto the Mega C D two. Uh yeah, they really thought this all out, didn't they? Cause I, I guess this will fit onto here, but I don't know. I've never seen it done. So yeah, I got these uh stickers uh got all the stickers on. Oh my cow. So cool man. This is so cool. Alright, to give you an idea of the attention to detail on these these miniatures here. Uh, I was showing you Shining Force CD. Let's pull this out here. So, 
here you are. See if, if this will focus just fine here. This is Shining Force CD. Now I'm going to show you the original. Let's see. And, oh crap, it's coming out. Don't do that. And, uh, jeez, what happened here? I need to clean off the surface of this, definitely. But, yeah, this is like, it's identical. Okay. Now I'm going to grab Sonic here. So here's, here's the first Sonic game, and here's the, the Mega Drive. So, there you go. See? Sonic. There you go. And the stickers are identical here. That's really cool. Well, actually, no. No one has like a white stripe across it. This one doesn't. Did this? Nope. Okay, so anyhow, this is that. Now, Puyo Puyo. And Puyo Puyo. There you go. Now, this is kind of older, so the colors are fading a little bit, I guess, but there you go. Sticker's peeling up a little bit. So here you got that white stripe that's also re uh, um, <laughs> reincarnated. Uh, what's the word? Jeez, I'm losing my English. Uh, re you know, uh, rep replicated, I guess. Here, that is really cool. So yeah, very very neat attention to detail. So now I have the complete set. I've got both the the game units and the CD units so that is really great so again I don't have this CD and I actually I don't have Golden Axe I've got it on the the the, the Genesis uh, collection for the the, the DS uh, but I never had the original cartridge game I imagine it's probably doesn't go for a lot of money, but who knows? I don't know. I don't have it, so I wouldn't know. So, anyhow, thanks for watching. This is like super fun, and uh, I'm glad lots of people enjoyed the first video. So, here's the follow up. So, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.